The girl just disclosed her personal information with a stranger, but she didn't expect it to lead to murder. Lisa is a famous netizen of short videos. This day, she came to Thailand alone for a week-long tour. Originally, she and her boyfriend both planned to stay in a hotel together, but unexpectedly, the other party did not show up for the appointment. So Lisa, alone and sullen, went outside to get some air. A woman with a birthmark on her face approached Lisa. She asked Lisa why she was not accompanied by her boyfriend that late. She was willing to help if she could. With a meal of concern from Anna, Lisa unguardedly gave out all her information. The two became good friends without words. The next days, Anna drove a motorcycle and took Lisa to visit the big and small scenic spots in Thailand. After a day and a night of fun, Anna dropped Lisa off at the door of her hotel and then went her separate ways. On her way out, she didn't forget to hide in the corner, watching Lisa's every move. Taking out the key in her bag, Lisa was ready to open the door of the hotel, but what she never expected was that the hotel's door was open brightly. When she left, it was clearly closed, so someone must have taken advantage of the daytime when no one burglary. So Lisa carefully walked towards the hotel. When she came to the bedroom, what met her eyes was the scene of being rummaged through and disorganized. Even the passport in the drawer was gone. Obviously, the thief knew himself very well, so Lisa made the first call to the police. Then Anna also rushed to the scene of the crime. She reassured Lisa that she knew the process of replacing a lost passport very well. She had done it herself before, and all she had to do was fill out the form with specific personal information and give it to the police. Even the password for the bank card had to be truthfully labeled. With that, Lisa filled out the form with Anna's guidance. While waiting for her new passport, Lisa told her boyfriend about her temporary inability to return to her home country. She hoped that the other person would not worry and that they would see each other soon. The two were talking. The boyfriend thinks Lisa must have been playful and didn't want to come back to say the excuse on purpose. The two had a big fight, and Anna, hiding in the corner, heard it all. The next days, she was trying to get Lisa to relax, so she piloted a small boat and took her to a deserted island. It was just the two of them here, and they could release their inner depression. Looking at the pile of firewood in front of her, Lisa sensed something was wrong. It looked like someone had been here before, and there was a time stamp carved into the sticks. Turning on her cell phone, the screen showed that there was no signal to contact the outside world. This was an excellent place to kill someone. Greeted by Anna, Lisa did not take this matter to heart. She thought that the other party would definitely not do anything to herself. Just like this, that to spend a night on the deserted island. After drinking the red wine that Anna had prepared beforehand, Lisa drifted off to sleep. At dawn, Anna had already packed her belongings and Saturday on the beach. Immediately after, she took Lisa's bag and left the deserted island. It turned out that she had approached Lisa with a purpose from the beginning. Now the purpose has been accomplished. Anna left the island in her boat, leaving the sleeping Lisa to fend for herself. Afterwards, Anna opened the door of Lisa's hotel and stayed there because she now knows all the personal information. She is the same as Lisa. Not only that, Anna also brightly took Lisa's cell phone to travel around to take pictures. When she got home, she used her computer to Photoshop the pictures and put Lisa's avatar on top of her own. This creates the illusion that Lisa is sending out her work. No one would know that the real Lisa had actually been left behind on a deserted island long ago. In this way, Anna used this technique to get away with it online for quite some time. But it didn't last long, as she inadvertently flipped through her cell phone and saw a photo of another online celebrity. This aroused Anna's curiosity once again, so she began to plan her next target. After following her for three days and three nights, Anna had familiarized herself with her target's every move. So like the first time she met Lisa, she looked for the right opportunity and took the initiative to greet Julie. At Anna's kind reminder, Julie didn't eat it up and simply thanked her and left the area. Watching her target drift away, it aroused Anna's good nature even more. So during the day, she started to go after Julie's social accounts. No matter what the entry was, Anna took it upon herself to comment and interact below. Eventually after her stalking, Julie replied, The two agreed to meet tonight. When Anna arrived at her destination in the evening as promised, she put on another surprise face. Little did she realize that Julie was the big star she had stumbled upon last night. She didn't recognize it at the time. With a compliment from Anna, Julie let her guard down. The target finally took the bait, and the next step was to sell her misery to gain sympathy. So Anna made Lisa's ordeal about herself. Her boyfriend broke the contract at the last minute, which is why she came to this unfamiliar Thailand. Seeing how miserable Anna was, the kind-hearted Julie decided to accompany her back to the hotel for company. Leto followed Anna's lead and arrived at Lisa's hotel. What she never expected was that the table in the center was somehow set with the goblets. Immediately afterward, a man came out from the corner. It turned out that the man in front of her was Lisa's boyfriend. He came to Thailand after knowing that Lisa might be in danger after her passport was stolen. In order not to let the other party reveal his identity, Anna had to say that she was Lisa's good friend. She had something outside tonight and could not come back for the time being. 
she temporarily stayed here, unexpectedly. The stupid Mark really believed Anna's bullshit. In this way that to spend the night in the hotel, the next day Anna opened her laptop and used the computer to synthesize a voiceover of Lisa and dialed Mark's phone. On the phone, Lisa directly announced that she broke up with Mark without any reason and hung up immediately afterward. After the deed was done, Anna acted as if nothing had happened. Julie in the evening took the initiative to call a cab. After realizing the cause of the incident, she thought she was a bit of a nuisance to the other party. So she wanted to get out of here, and that Anna didn't own the place, but it was like her own home. So she reminded the other person that she should behave herself. After all, Lisa was the owner of the place. Immediately after it that Julie handed Anna the 200 tip, she didn't want to take advantage of anyone. Looking at Julie's action, Anna felt insulted. So with a yank on Julie's hair, she decided to kill the man, just as Anna was loading the body into the combination box. There was a lot of blood left on the floor, so she squatted down and grabbed the battlefield to clean it. But in the next second, Mark came in from outside with a friend he just met. Luckily, he didn't notice the blood on the floor, so Anna was relieved and picked up the fruit knife on the table. She made her way down the stairs to Mark's room, just as Anna was about to kill someone. The cell phone beside her suddenly rang. The picture on it was a picture of her with Lisa. It also proved that they knew each other before, so Anna gave up her plan to assassinate Mark and instead became fond of him. It was because since she was a child, all her friends around her teased her with the birthmark on her face. That's why Anna did all these extreme things in order to enjoy the life of those beautiful women. Despite Anna's best efforts to seduce Mark, the other man did not work because Lisa was 100 times prettier than her. Afterwards, Mark sneaks into the bedroom while Anna is leaving the hotel and opens his backpack, which contains a diary, and on it is recorded the whole process of Anna's murder. Knowing the truth, Mark took out a weapon and put it in his hand. I did not expect the seemingly weak woman, but she was so ruthless. Just as the two collided, Mark picked up a stone and smashed Anna into unconsciousness. Immediately after that, he tied her to a chair and tortured her. Under interrogation, Anna told the story of Lisa being stranded on a deserted island, followed by claiming that she could lead the way, and so that they made their way to the harbor during the night hours. But in the next moment, Anna, who had broken free from her bonds, pushed Mark into the sea from behind. She then grabbed a rope and strangled her partner back to the shore to adjust to the state. The next day, she drove a small boat to the deserted island where Lisa was trapped. Being trapped here for five or six days, surely she would be starved to death alive. But what Anna never expected was that Lisa not only did not die, but instead caught a large number of fish to feed her. But now it was unknown where it had gone. In order to prevent future problems, she picked up a shovel and walked into the primitive forest. Following the direction of the jungle, Anna came to the top of a mountain peak and what came into view were graves made of crosses. Just as she realized something was wrong and was about to turn around, Lisa, who was hiding behind her, grabbed a wooden stick and knocked on it to the ground. Seeing that her opponent is not dead, Lisa strikes again. The movie ends with a scene of Lisa leaving the deserted island in a small boat. This story teaches us to never give out our identifying information to strangers.